Because interacting with Little Mac sounds like not fun. Yeah, actually, that that sounds like a better idea when I was talking about like, especially on on Battlefield, you know, just stand on side platforms, you know, use Rush Coil if you're scared, and then you know, mix up your landing really well. And, you know, that's a recipe for success. Yeah, but he's coming down pretty frequently, though. These these mega upper punishes have been pretty uh on point to say the least, and unexpected to say the worst. Oh no. Alright, this is kinda scary. Mac is near you. It's even. It's no longer even. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, huge sigh of relief if you're a Pete bro. Oh yeah, definitely. You take the Salak, you force Mac to approach you. You're you're in your zoner like uh, happy area right now. Yeah, I'm just You know, this is definitely a way to look at this matchup as a really great angle on the metal blade can be thrown in all eight directions so you can cover yourself with how awkward the throw animation looks though peeper has been doing really solid thanks to this leaf shield and the amount of defense it provides uh, kind of forcing zeke reds to overcommit to something if he wants to power through it and he doesn't seem like he's been wanting to do that. Not even in the set we saw prior. He's been much more focused on uh, dash dancing and looking to scout out defensive options first. That's oh, good from that far. Oh. Ooh, oh, oh my goodness. The downer into the forward air. I, I, I've never seen that combo before, but hey, works out for... Uh, her All right, her I got it now. Oh my I, goodness. I gotta know how fast this move is, because he's throwing it out like it's nobody's business. <laughs> Dude, that's just so many sure you can come out for the Mega Man. Oh, there it is again. Up to it, it's fr frame six. Alright, so it's not it's not slow. Super minus. It's like minus forty-nine. But <laughs> Oh man, what? that spot's rough. What a matchup. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just... You know what I think it is? Just because, like... What do you think about it? When little Mac gets in on Mega Man anyway, if, if Mac gets, like, the correct read or whatever, he's gonna... He's gonna he might mess you up. So I might as well just put... <laughs> do my fastest option is gonna knock him away. Like, a considerable distance anyway, whenever we get up close. Because my options are, if I'm right, you know, I like, get him off of me, get the reset to neutral, which is what I want to be in. If I'm wrong, I get punished. And if I don't do anything, I could blow up anyway. So the ri the risk is probably worth it for Mega Man. Yeah, I mean that's that's completely fair. On top of it, uh, it was putting it was putting Pete Bro on these battlefield platforms, like with just the sheer jump of it. So added safety, even more safety to a kit that's already hard to approach. I, it feels like Pete Bro really has to overcommit to land any sort of hit. Which is definitely not what you want to be doing with a character as fragile as a Little Mac. And, you know, people are really showcasing how good uh, Mega Man can fare in the keep away game. Though on FD, that might be a little bit tougher. Yeah, like, I think people was doing such a good job of the last game using the platforms to their advantage. Just like, even like, jump between platforms, throw a down air in between them, and then like, you know, your Little Mac, you, you have to somehow catch Mega Man while also avoiding down air. But, so I think like banning FD would have been like the first thing you do. And then just pick any stage with platforms, like force them to pick any stage with platforms. Yeah, like ban FD town and like, what do you want? What are you gonna do to me? Yes, you can turn that around. Surprise, surprise. But Pete is keep go keeping it going. I used all of his resources really quickly there. Left, uh, left Pete bro just, uh, Left himself really open to Zeke's uh, inevitable punish, though. Yeah, and I mean, we saw the same scenario from Ledge happen in the previous game, where he used all the resources, but instead of going back to the corner, went to top platform. Lil Mac can't really do anything about that. But because there's no platform to go to, you're like, oh, I have to go back to the corner. Mac has center. I don't want to land on top of them. So, you know, it's another example of how, like, Pete Bro was using those platforms so well the previous game, and now they're just not here. Yeah, like that... The tool of the stage is just so not in his favor with a character as good on the floor as Little Mac. 
and he hasn't been able to secure any of these kills uh, either, despite throwing uh, throwing Zeke off stage multiple times. Right. See, we got oh, he just armors right through it like a champion, I guess. <laughs> Hey, is this one thing you can say about Little Mac is that he has the heart of a champion. He does have the heart of a champion. Will back throw do it now? Yes, it will. Okay, well. Now Pete Bro is going to have to put himself, uh, put his front foot forward this time instead of trying just to simply move back and upwards because he cannot move upwards and he's at a deficit so he has to move forward at least a little bit. You know, I, I have to say, I like using the jump neutral B just to like armor through whatever Mega Man's throwing at you just to try to get in. Yeah, okay, it worked out there. Creativity is the name of the game at some uh, at some stages and in some matchups. Like if Mega Man's just going to be constantly throwing out hitboxes, then why not use your copious amount of armor just to make him regret it? Particularly with these multi hits. At 26 off of one hit. Oh, that was kind of crazy. <laughs> like, the back air didn't fully connect, but popped him up per at the perfect angle to get hit with another back air. Just enough knockback in order to make the neutral B get stuffed. Uh oh, he he didn't have a jump, but the Jolt Haymaker is fast enough to get him out of danger regardless. I bet he's aggressive landings from Pete Bro. I mean, he's. He's at a deficit, but with three minutes left on the clock, you can still play this relatively... Oh, that was weird. You can still play this kind of slow if he wants to, but he's been landing with forward air and back airs more. Uh, what the now, heck? Now, now hold on, game. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on. Something was not quite right about that one. But hey... <laughs> you know, Romac was double jointed. Like he re he reached his arm up and back and then back <laughs> to co connect to yeah. to hit a uh, Mega Man in his heels. Like, all right. <laughs> yeah, but if you're Pete, bro, like you you had a close game on FD, but now you get counter pick and you just pick any stage with two or more platforms. Like that's it, <laughs> and then just play, try to play the same game you had going on in the first set or in the first game. Take really good advantage of the platforms, and Mac might just struggle. Three, Town and city. I mean, if this is go. honestly, if you're not trying to go back to FD, this is probably the second worst stage you could pick. Though this layout is really good for camping out Mac and trying to like keep away from him. This stage is FD a third of the time, which is great for little Mac. <laughs> On top, yeah. of, on top of small, small side blast zones, and you have yourself an excellent stage for when Little Mac gets his hands on you. Okay. Oh, good grab. <laughs> Just reading the run-up shield. Wow, that Jolt Haymaker going through the Metal Blade. Needs just enough of it. Though... Catching Little Mac in the air is huge. Comes down with the nair, the only frame two nair in the game, and belongs to Little Mac. And honestly, he needs it. Oh, <laughs> that was funny. Kale punch on rush. <laughs> Wasn't able to get punished for it. If that was calculated, like you got it, dude. Like your your situational awareness is second to none. But you can't always be running in with Little Mac's neutral air because while it's fast, it's small. God, it just feels like both of these players are realizing that, hey, like, we're kind of adapting pretty quick to each other. Like, we're both up a game. It's time to pull out all the little tricks that we got going for us just to see what works and what doesn't because there's no second chances from here on out. Yeah, and uh, Zeke's recoveries have been really good this like, whole set. Like, you, you would think something like Battle Blade plus Mega Man Down Air would just kind of spell curtains for Mac, like, a majority of the time. But Zeke has been able to navigate past both of them, finds the KO punch, taking the first stock away from Pete Bro, game three. 
there were so many hitboxes that Mega uh, that uh, Pete Bro threw out. So many little clips that would have taken away KO Punch, but he evaded all of them. And how Pete Bro is the one behind the eight ball all of a sudden with a desperate need to find this kill, which he does thanks to the falling back air. Uh, incorporating a lot more falling uh, aerials, especially with uh, the, how fast for Fair and Bear can be. It's been crucial to how much space he's making uh, Zeke respect, especially with falling uh, with the, the, what is it, the leaf shield, adding to that uh, imperviousness on landing, though he doesn't care. Wait, he was up a whole stock? Wait a minute, I thought that was the last stock, to be honest. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, but, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold up, look at the, look at the meter. It's almost there. Oh, he there that kill? He the right oh my goodness. He did let it rip way too early. The dash away was clutch, and now he can start, he can start using some of his tools, but the Jolt Hate, or the Mega Upper faster than Jolt Hate Maker, and Look at this wall that Pete Bro is going to like, go away, please, but <laughs> the Haymaker jumps right past. Man, this is risky. This is dangerous now. You are not feeling good. What was he going for? What was he going for there? It looked like he was going for a footstool, and I'm not, I'm not here for it. <laughs> Dude, what's... That's so terrible. Oh, that's it. That F tilt. Secrets. Gonna make it in the top eight. We got a wait, we got a little back. Top eight rip side. God, the the characters in top eight are so wonky, right? And I 